Good morning YouTube, a uh, little video for you today. I'm making an LED mirror with motion sensor. Um, a battery powered motion sensor. There's no electrics required for this. I bought this on eBay. Um, if you just search for LEDs with motion sensors or battery LEDs with motion sensors, this is what you get. It takes a couple of I think AA or AAA batteries. It's got a small motion sensor on there, so when it detects motion, um, it will light up uh, a string of LEDs. This is a three meter string of LEDs, which via this little jack plug, plugs into the motion sensor. So what I've done is I've taken the back of the mirror off. I'm not gonna show you that because all mirrors are different, but it's just to give people ideas of what you can do with these things. Um, and I'm gonna thread through there a little gap where these um, clamps that hold the mirror in place, um, if I, I remove that and there's a little gap there, otherwise I would have just drilled a hole. I'm gonna thread it through and then I'm gonna run it around the inside of the mirror um, so that it works and it's all hidden away in the back. Stay tuned. Okay, there you can see that is the other side of the mirror. I've threaded the LED strip through. I've measured how much I need. And then what I don't need will be just tucked away in the back of the mirror. Once it's on the wall, you're not gonna see it. On the back of the LED strips, it's got the uh, 3M tape, which sticky back tape. And all I'm gonna do is stick it to the inside seam of the mirror so that when the uh, when the light goes on it will look like a like a dressing room mirror I guess um, stay tuned okay um, coming towards the end now I've put in the LEDs around the inside of the mirror and you see how I'm doing it there there's your your 3m tape you just peel a bit off and then as you're going along just keep peeling and, and uh, pushing it into the corners as well. I've just used a little flathead screwdriver just to shove it into the corners um, of the mirror. Uh, it sticks really well. Just remember when you are sticking any uh, 3M products to anything, make sure you give them a clean uh, or wipe down of any dust just to um, uh, give the stick a bit more uh, longevity and um, the adhesive works better on a clean surface. So as you can see now, I'm gonna come round the corner and then I'll pull the slack through to the back of the mirror and then I'll show you how I'm going to mount the sensor as well. Okie doke. So that's the lights installed fully all the way around the inside of the mirror. You can see there where it comes to the end, I've just tucked it into the back of the mirror. It folds fairly easily, this stuff. Um, it's fairly robust as well, so don't worry about breaking it by twisting it and turning it, it's fine. Um, and then you can see at the back of the, the mirror there where the strip comes out and this will be where I locate the sensor and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a second when I've put the mirror flat. Okay so this is the other side of the mirror now so you see how that swaps left of the three meters or whatever size cable came with it. This is my sensor and that's the motion part of it. Um, there's a button there which means it will just be on all the time and it's off for motion. You've got a timer there for how long the motion sensor comes on for. So I put it on maximum time, I think it says it's five minutes. On this side, you've got day and night time use. So if you want it to come on during the day, it will do. Otherwise it'll only come on at night. So I've done that as well. It's on for all the time, whenever the motion sensors, the light will come on. Um, now the location of this, I don't know if you can see there, but at the bottom of the mirror, got a fairly decent gap but there's a little uh, screw head which I'm going to snap that off so that I can locate this in there like that and I'll drill some holes just in the bottom so that the motion sensor pops through the hole but from the other side of the frame so all you'll see is the motion sensor Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've drilled a couple of holes now. You can see there, when it's in position, you'll have access to the sensor and the push button, which is all you really need access to. And now I'm gonna fix it in place. Not the best holes in the world, 
but it's quite brittle plastic this is but um never mind no one's gonna see that okay so um obviously my holes are drilled now i've been thinking about how to locate this now this needs to be removable because this holds the batteries and i don't know how long the batteries last so whatever i do with this it's got to be put in a place where it can be removed but fixed so what i've used is it's a bit knackered and old but it's a pair of um like velcro strips which stick one side to the battery pack and the other side i will stick to the inside of there so it will sit in a position hopefully the sensor will still work like that um, but can be removed when the batteries die okay there we go then the sensor is now in place I've just used a bit of uh, just normal super glue to glue those little sticky pads to the battery pack and the mirror um, and then you can see sensors can be seen now I'm hoping that the way this will work is that it'll either sense movement from the bathroom or you just wave your hand underneath it because where that sensor is it is sunk down a little bit into the mirror so it may not work as well as I want it to but we'll um, we'll have a test once uh, we get it hung but that's pretty much it I'm now going to put the back back onto the unit and uh, screw it all together and hang it back on the wall. There it is then, all done, sensors at the top, so if you want to turn it on, here we go, not bad, not bad. I will put a link in a subscription for both the mirror and the lights if I can find the mirror I bought it a while back but if not then I don't know but thanks for watching like and subscribe see you on the next one there we go then the sensor is now in place I've just used a bit of uh, just normal super glue to glue those little sticky pads to the battery pack and the mirror um, and then you can see sensors can be seen now I'm hoping that the way this will work is that it'll either sense movement from the bathroom or you just wave your hand underneath it because where that sensor is it is sunk down a little bit into the mirror so it may not work as well as I want it to but we'll um, we'll have a test once uh, we get it hung but that's pretty much it I'm now going to put the back back onto the unit and uh, screw it all together and hang it back on the wall.